<laughs> oh, Metro well, well, day? well. Meadow Day? Me Toady. Me Toady. That's Me Toady. <laughs> I like Me Toady better. <laughs> Man, they just had to make him look comically evil, didn't they? Mm hmm. Okay, well, what does Me Toady got? I love how we get two very different cut? evil faces and the two portraits of him, like, lined up perfectly here. <laughs> yeah. I like his double shoulder pads. Again, we got the Morrowind and Pauldron thing going on. <laughs> so you, of course. They're too shiny, though. Didn't really yeah, that's true. They're not made of bugs or whatever. If I may be so bold, we have the chalice you seek. Might I humbly request that you return, Alfred? Okay, Constance, we're gonna take five and sit you down on the bench while we do all this hostage negotiation. <laughs> we don't need you, your vibe, in this room. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just, like, bring an umbrella with her? <laughs> Ruined the hostage negotiation vibe. When I told you of it, never Okay, so here's a question. When she goes outside, she gets all the press in. Mm -hmm. What if she doesn't know if she's outside? Like, say you blindfold her underground and you may or may not bring her outside. <laughs> I feel like depressing. it's a Birdman situation. Oh, so she could just feel the sunshine. Right. Yeah. The so if we brought her outside sun. at night, would she get the press in? No. I don't the think so. Because it's her body knows. I don't think it, it's not a, a willful thing that she's doing. Hmm. So it's just a straight up curse, like unless she's underground. Pretty much. I see. I see. Let's make sure it's not some cheap imitation. Hand it over. Not until you hand over the hostage. Do they sell imitation holy grails like at the gift shop in Mock, you think? Raya has a few. You don't understand your own I mean, there is a church right above them. They probably have a bunch of grails you can just kind of, you know, dusty up. up and make look yeah. nice. It's, it's really a question of how holy we're talking, you know? Yeah, if me, Tony's face ones. doesn't mail off, melt off by the end of this episode, then I'm not even, <laughs> I don't even know what to You want a full this. Lost Ark? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if this guy's ears are stuffed with wool or if he's just this stupid. Can we just have, like, Ash take the shot and be done with this? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. He's up in a tree. He's just got, like, a little earpiece on. <laughs> Yuri, stand down. Leave me. Take the chalice and flee. You must. It is irreplaceable. You must not hand it to these brigands. The guy in the pack is really... <laughs> he's just not there. <laughs> he's thinking about the there. Weekend. I know it's supposed to be fur, but that looks just like, I don't know, obsidian or like... Uh, ferrofluid. Fer fer fluid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know us better than that. We didn't come here without a plan. Do your thing, Happy. Wait, do what thing? Pocket sand. Seriously? Right now? <laughs> uh, no, happy. Fine, fine, fine. Do it. You won't. Okay. What's this all? Her side. She. Who is this? Lord of Wings? Or did we He's murder back. Lord of Wings? You can never truly murder That's Lord of Wings. It's <laughs> like the spirit of Wings is in <laughs> the people's hearts. <laughs> so she can willingly sigh and get these things to come after her. Yes, any time that she sighs, regardless of uh, what causes. Because like a sigh is kind of an involuntary reaction. It's kind of like yawning. Right. Like, so she's had to teach herself someone. not to do it. That's why she's happy. Mm -hmm. These so sore children's powers are very ill-defined. <laughs> Both Happy and Father, Constance. Will you do the it just feels so random. Yes. Mm. It, they're not very well thought out character traits. Like not it's character an interesting traits concept, either. but it needed to be refined <laughs> to be yeah. more like, I don't know, have more dramatic irony. I mean, Yuri I mean, like and Balthus sort of exist in the world as it is. Hey, Happy Bob, and Constance are a bit around. weirder. Like, Constance in particular, like, the split personality things that age old oh, no. character trait. Okay, trait they can do. I'm sorry, implied action. <laughs> I need a visual <laughs> no, indication. No, no, he's right off screen. A Valtius in the grips of some gigantic <laughs> fowl. Wrestling a giant bird and 50 that. feet in the air. He'll sort it out. <laughs> and nothing of value Okay, is so the bird yeah. isn't even in play in this map? Well... Okay. This guy looks like a K-pop stand. <laughs> yeah. 
is the right expression too. It, it, it's the hair, yeah. Yeah, and the the violent nature. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bruh. I was saying before, like, Constance, like, the split personality thing is an age-old character trait. Like, but the really the way they split her personality is not interesting. Yeah, it's just pure comedic effect. Yeah. I don't know. I feel <laughs> like you could do something with, like, the manic depressive thing going on, but whatever. So Let's you should take it. a look at the map. Daytime personality. Um, her... Okay. Or her nighttime personality, I should say. Her positive personality, where she's mm -hmm. full of herself. But yes. the one where she's just like, please, I'm not fit to lick the dirt on your boot. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Maybe if it was horny. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I think feel that, like, like in a different Fire Emblem game, it would have been horny. Yes. Like, the, the confident versus self-doubting thing could be very good. But, like, the way they do it is, like, over the top, like, I am never going to be defeated versus, like, I am not worthy of... You but know. you're also yeah. trying to give this writing too much credit. And you know? she can't be too similar to Bernadetta. I think that's Ooh, where it yes. really fails, is that if she was really opposite opposite, then she would just be He's Bernadetta. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Lamau. I've got problems. I think he's going to have Balta solo this bird. Pretty much. Hey, yeah, watch me solo this bird. Uh, what, what, um... Battalion? Yeah, what You battalion might be able to have? swap his battalion, because, like, birds only have one pip on their, uh, on all of their barriers, so a big enough one would be able to yeah, one-shot it. Yeah, it's shattered. He's got the double, the two So I, you so might be just... able to change that? I'm pretty sure if he survives two turns, he's uh, one turn, he's fine. Because two Italian attacks will almost certainly get rid of a health bar and also shadow the barrier to stun him. So I think he's okay. Otherwise, I guess we gotta route the enemy. Uh, Kill them all. I suppose I could try sending Claude out here, but. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you put the horse guy up in the front? He should be in the back. I got the there. horses in the back. Sorry. Oh, I can't Sorry. move left. You can't no, move that, I couldn't control that. I just Involuntary. <laughs> Involuntary Old Town Road. <laughs> okay, uh, magic user, we're gonna need one of you back here, along with someone who's tankier. Let's see. I don't like how they have this all split up. Yeah, of the of the four new kids, Yuri is a lot like Claude. Um, yes. And Constance, um, eh, like she seems, especially because <laughs> she's like from um, the Industrial Industrial Empire. That like she is kind of like oh she's like a haughty noble, and then she's like scared. That's kind of like Ferdinand and Bernadetta. <laughs> um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then. Balthus is kind of like, I mean, he, he is a womanizer. Um, we already have that, Sylvain. He's a, a punchman. We already have that in, like, Raphael and Caspar. Mm -hmm. He's like um, smart Raphael. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> the bar is not high. And Happy, Happy, no I think, is the one that is blunders. sort of a unique personality this. because um, hers is that she's mentally normal. <laughs> um, Linhart, she, but less likely to take bullshit. I guess more blunt about it. She's almost like a, yeah. a Linhart Petra. Like, yeah, like if yeah. Petra didn't have an accent and uh, like, because <laughs> yeah, she's just she's just mentally normal, despite the tremendous amount of torture and trauma that she's been through, similar to what Edelgard and Lysithia have been through. Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, time to show what happens when the awe-inspiring time to rustle a bird. <laughs> Against a bird. Sorry, uh, go back to Balthus for a second, and uh, then zoom in all the way, <laughs> and then look at the bird if you can. Oh, you want to see something. the uh, bird? The bird won't show up until I go to this. But like, say that's okay. Yeah, right. that that's like three times yeah. the size. Yeah, three that's times, fine. This bird's, four times? Like, this bird's like forty feet tall standing. It's a huge. Okay, thing. okay, never mind. Yeah, it's, it's it, a lot farther. It is two that. stories tall. The, yeah. Their perspective is yeah. is a little weird. Um, <laughs> zoom around like this. Ooh. Sure can. I saw this right here. Well, that. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Oh, kind of. Getting too close. Can't have it clipped through the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to see if we can have Edelgard just laugh at these guys. 
Uh, happy where were you? Yeah. I put her yep. in the wrong space. Yep. Yup. That's not good. She was supposed to be back here. But it's okay. Um, let's do this one at a time. What, what are you doing? Yeah. Balthus, what are you doing? <laughs> Damn it. So yeah, this will almost certainly stun the bird on the second hit and the kill its health bar at the same time. All those, like three of those guys yeah. at least are going to come over to belt this. So I'm just wondering if, what's bird doing? Not current. What's, bird doing? what's that bird doing? What's this that bird no doing? Wow. It's hitting for nothing. Not much. All right, yeah, go for it. Fuck him up. Yeah, so we're fine. He's got a solo a bird apparently. Well, solo. Just me and my droogs who the bird also carried away. <laughs> the bird went back for him. Attract a giant bird's attention. No shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys, that is absolutely fine. With, um... Good luck, fuckers. Yeah, these <laughs> horsemen are definitely annoying. You two can't. You two. Okay. Can you just Ready fuck up willing. one of these guys? No, you can't, because they have a lot of shit. They're big boys. I fucked up the placement on this. That's my bad. Oh well. I'll give it my all. What we're gonna do instead here is sure thing. Make them come to us. Balthus has this. <laughs> yep. Should I big mistake. Back? Right. Mm. You fool. Bruh. We must all do our part. We're all just... There's no reason just not to use the sword they created on all this one. Pretty yeah. much. I guess they made a mode that you were allowed to use it in, basically. I sped a weakling to their demise. You did. I'm remembering, like, <laughs> a million okay. years ago when um, Bra first came on the scene and I was like, oh, damn, he's got the same hair as me. I cut my hair since then. And now it's been so long that I have to cut it again soon. Oh no. Oh, no. That's how long we've been stuck here. Yep. My hair's already uh -huh. long enough again that I can put it in a ponytail, which means it's too long. <laughs> oh no. Too much hair, chop it off. My beard's getting to the point where I'm slightly considering actually using a scrunching on it sometimes, especially when I'm eating. Oh my mm. god. Yeah, you have problems when you go to eat like ramen and shit. Yeah, <laughs> sleep beard, or, yeah. Or, or, or something. Or braid okay. it, dwarf style. No, it's way too scraggly and not long enough for braiding. Yes. I have considered that. Bad. That bird's stunned. Yep. <laughs> Got him. That's Happy's uh, line. The sun. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> Not a fan. Oops. You seriously can't just one shot one of these dudes? Okay, well, whatever. Finn Berber. She's too depressed. What? <gasps> wow. Missed the 69. Very not nice. That's not nice at all. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Metal Guard just. We could, but I just don't care. <laughs> Battle. Let's stop thinking about this shit so much. Yeah, just... That's Go true. We're not in danger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Blast them. Yeah, all those heavy knights almost universally just explode to magic. Yeah. Like this. A little bit. Didn't you hear? Got him. I'm dangerous. I think I said it before, but I like the horse is cool looking, but I like the entire theme of, of like that that unit, mm -hmm. like her like robe Who, and me? like half cape and stuff. It all looks pretty neat. Dimitri, get some people pissed off at you. She sure will. <laughs> the only thing that I I'm I don't get about Happy's design is why her accent color is green, so that she's got she looks like a watermelon. Stay focused. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> What are you doing? She's What's got like bubblegum hair, What's coral dog hair, doing? and like bright green clothes. I'll take care of this. I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. 
They're not, they're that, not wait, this guy Wait, we wait, he got attack? Whoa. We control him. He's, he's, he's in, he can make us a bolognese. He's, he's got the bolognese, yes. What do these things do? Wow, Alfred's Can't Italian kitchen. Okay. Um, can you deal with this problem? Mm-hmm. Can anybody? And he's got bologna, so he can attack these dudes. <laughs> Throw the spicy bologna. Oh. Why am I... Open up the deli. I'm just gonna attack from here. Hand axe it, yeah. She is not gonna hit. That's fine. Ha! Alright, well, what do I know? That's my queen! <laughs> <laughs> How smart it is to split this up or whatever. I'm overthinking. I gotta stop doing that. Yeah. You no thoughts. Gonna get mad at me for making an Italian joke about bolognese being a French. You can never be racist with an Italian <laughs> accent. Uh, <laughs> it's always right. appropriate. And it's, it's always right to be racist against Italian and French people. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'm not anyone who's actually not so fast. It happens to be Italian or French. Oh, I see what you're doing. Ah. You're right. I should do something up. more offensive to make up for it. Uh, right. That's how it speaking, works. Speaking of this, um, Ash, can I ask you something? Professor? Innocent as ever. <laughs> Ash blinks up at Byleth. He's clutching a book in his hands, and I'm uh, sorry, Bruh. Bruh recognizes it as the one he and Linhart were fawning over in the Abyss Library the other day. Um, I promise I didn't do Caspar's homework for him. Bruh stares. He hadn't been suspicious until now, but thinking back on Caspar's better than usual grammar and word choice in their last essay. Wait, no, that's not it. I wanted to ask you if you've ever been on a date before. <sighs> Ash drops the book. When will this end? Are you all right? Byleth prompts, a little worried when Ash doesn't speak for several more seconds. I I'm sorry, Ash stammers. I. I'm not interested in you in that way, Professor. Also, I'm your student, and you're my teacher. It'd be immoral, unethical, criminal. Cringe. In the back of his head, Byleth wonders why he thought this would be a good idea. Next scene. Oh, no. Claude we're taps his chin. More mischief oh, we're than gonna take the hit in already. the gesture. Oh, no. uh -huh. so Teach got asked out on a date, huh? I gotta it's say, I'm it's more than safe. flattered that you approached me for advice on this. I asked Ash first, <laughs> Byleth tells him, or, well, I tried to, but now he thinks I'm trying to prey on him, and he's been running away every time I get close to try to explain. He sighs and <laughs> takes a sip of his tea, staring into space. It had taken great effort for Byleth to come above ground earlier than dimmer, dinner time, considering how he's starting to actually like the Abyss, but the fear of someone overhearing their conversation was enough motivation. I love my whole... <laughs> Claude shakes his head. Why are you like this? I'll ask Dimitri to talk to him for you then. Anyway, what kind of date is this? My advice will differ depending on the details. What kind of date? Bruh's never been asked on a date before, so how is he supposed to know what kind exactly. of date this will be? He didn't Terrible. even know there were different kinds of dates until now. He had more or less just assumed that they all followed some predictable pattern he hadn't been able to learn while being a mercenary. I guess it's a midnight date, he finally decides. <laughs> <laughs> Claude almost chokes on his tea. Come again? <laughs> I was asked to be there after midnight, <laughs> Bruh clarifies, not wanting Claude to misunderstand and run away screaming from him, too. Um, does that mean something? Oh, yeah, yeah, Teach, definitely, <laughs> Claude says, leaning forward and nearly toppling over the tin of cookies on the table. He grins cheekily up at Bruh, looking far more excited than Bruh's ever seen him. All right, first things I'm sorry, first. I, you have sorry, to have at I, least condoms, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can interrupt now. Thanks. I was imagining this is this is during a tea time. During right? a tea time, like, of course. <laughs> what else okay. would it be? Okay, continue. All right. I interrupted at the wrong time. No, that's the end of the scene. It's it's all these little oh, okay. scenes as he talks to, okay. to everybody else about the date with Yuri. Hilda, predictably enough, spins in a circle and squeals. Oh, a date after midnight? That's so romantic. Say, you'll tell me all the details, right? Right? Bra attempts a nonchalant shrug. 
Even now, he's struggling to keep himself from spilling everything to someone, which is a new feeling for sure. Most of the time, he doesn't even want to talk. If you help me, I'll consider it. Ah! Oh, professor, you are such a killjoy. Fine, I'll bite. What can I do? I'm starting. What should I do? Bruh asks, hoping he, does, hoping he doesn't sound too pathetic. I've never been... I mean, I don't know what they might be like. I don't have any previous experience as basis, so I'm at a loss. Hilda nods, looking like she's actually listening this time. Okay, I think I got it. Hmm. This person looks like a romantic if they scheduled it after midnight, so you should go the extra mile and be romantic too. Why not try bringing some flowers? You're always gardening in the greenhouse after all. Your Hilda is fantastic, by the way. <laughs> Why didn't he think of that? Oh, it's because he's not growing flowers, he's growing pot. But I thought you killed him. I thought you Your knew that. Up. <laughs> that makes sense. Thank you, Hilda. Now the real question is what sort of flowers Byla should get. Okay, here we go. He may be decent at tending to them, but he doesn't know the meanings behind any of the flowers. Since the date is tonight though, he should probably get something already ready for the picking. Bruh tilts his head as Hilda skips away. If he remembers correctly, the violets he's been proud of for the past few weeks looked nearly full grown yesterday. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Mm. Any comments before the next scene? <laughs> <laughs> no, I keep going. I, I'm intrigued and wish to subscribe to this newsletter. Uh, oh, right. Maybe not, but continue. He can't stop pacing. Why did this have to happen? Bruh had trusted Yuri. They had all trusted Yuri. Through. Oh no, this is a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'll oh, have no. to finish it later. I'll have to finish it later. Oh, no. after this, after is it a spoiler? spoiler. Is, it, is, it, is it a spoiler for the main game? No, I think it's a spoiler for this. It's, yeah, it's gonna happen after this fight is over. <laughs> Dang, now we're in suspense. Oh, we'll have to wait then, shit. Yeah, we'll have oh, to wait no. to be continued. Th now that, now, I, now I think you just have to load up another fanfic. Or not. Each you, fanfic this, a this chance to This is the perfect grow, one, because it's short, it's stupid. And it's relevant. Um, yeah, it's, it's about like, Bra and Yuri's place. date. Um, it doesn't actually show the date. There's no sex scene. It's just funny. Well, then why am I even here, then? <laughs> I'd rather be not there. I mean, they did talk about condoms, which is, which, you know. They said the word condom. That they counts. Said, they said the word condom for their midnight date. I mean, would they, would these be medieval condoms? I would, like. Yeah, where it was, like, uh, like intestines. There's Constance yeah. can attack this guy from on top of the hill there, like. Oh, wow. Up above okay, Metal Guard. Okay. Yeah. Lying units. Yeah, lying units are kind of silly. <laughs> this works. It even, like, zooms out the camera a bit. That's fine. Um, I'm trying to think about, I kind of want to get her down here because he's going to be in trouble in a second, so I'll we'll just do that. Oh yeah, you got to punch a bird. The bird? Bird! 83. Dark stone. Bird. Is there 88? any reason not, does he get his shit back like the, the sword of the creator does? Mm -hmm. I haven't been Probably. paying attention. I mean, it's at 19, so... so it's probably bad, not, but, you know... Who cares? Punch the bird. You're, you are still deleting the fuck out of this bird. <laughs> just sure you can the bird. Yeah. We're having wings again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for my next brawl. And it's right behind you. Step Strength up. and speed, baby. More, you fuckers. This isn't routing the enemy. This is a forever war. I think if you kill that guy, it might stop some of the reinforcements, but I don't know. Well, we'll get over there in a second. Where did that thief learn to be a paladin? Hold this me, okay? oh! you, <laughs> it wasn't a headshot, it was that he did a sweet flip before he shot. Well. Yeah, it's even more MLG. It was a 360 no scope, but he did it vertically instead of horizontally. <laughs> Really? Okay. Well, go for it, I guess. What you got? Wow. wow. Actually, Thanks, bro. Luckily, it was okay. just you him. Can... Yeah. You can take the hit there. I'm okay with that. Thank you. As expected. Ow. <laughs> we 
I think I'm just gonna leave this these two in the corner here for this is fine. Yeah. <laughs> just she's got this. Unstoppable force means immovable object. Yeah. Oh my god, there's still so many more guys. I, I forgot that someone left her with a sword, and so since all those thieves have like axe avoidance or whatever the fuck yes. it is, like I'm just making her use the sword now. Way yeah. better.